Besides the direct control system, the face machine also features a pose slider system, which we call the box controls. Although the direct control is very convenient for making immediate poses, if you're used to animating with a box set up, then it's a snap to set your own box controls and make poses that will react much like a typical rig of that style. What we can do is over in the embedded Ansman rigging menu over here on the left, we can see that we've got a number of different box controls available for the parts of the face as you'd expect in a regular blend shape rig. When we move them, they'll actually move the surface controls that would be you know, directly manipulated by you in the viewport. However, because they're simply moving to recorded positions, that means that you can change the pose at any given time and re-record the point that this will move to. You can remap any box slider or even create your own for new poses that don't exist that we, uh, by default. I'm going to go up and do that now by creating a new box control. We call this nose. You can choose which axes and the extents to which they'll operate on. And then what we see down here is that we've got a new box pose created. You can also view the box controls from within the model editor by going to your perspective menu and choosing the FM box controls camera. Now we can see all of these in the scene. Because we just created a new box control, we'll have to turn off repositioning. As you can see, any of these controls can be moved around and fit to whatever layout you'd like, wherever you want to see them. Let's go ahead and set that up. Now, at first, this nose control we've just created doesn't do anything doesn't seem to have any effect on the, on the scene. But what you can do is you can select any of the regular direct controls, or any other objects really, and move them to a position of your desirability, select the pose slider you want to apply that pose to, and then define a pose for it. Let's go ahead and set that. Now let's move this back to zero. Now let's go ahead and move it to this side. And as you can see, I'm going to create a bunch of different poses which are linked to my box control. Now when I move this around, our nose slides around in the axes that we've defined for the control. But while I'm doing this, there's nothing to stop me from also putting in my own motion on the direct controls, it will account for all of these at the same time and allow you to layer in both virtual slider and direct controls into the same piece of animation without any interference.